Hey, what's up? This is D from UDO and today I will show you my Helix preset. When I play rock and metal music, 95% of all times I need exactly two sounds, which is a rhythm sound and a lead sound. And this is exactly what I use this preset for. Let me quickly mention that I am using the snap and stomp mode, which means the bottom row represents my snapshots and the upper row represents my stomp boxes. Let's check out the first snapshot, which is my basic rhythm channel. <laughs> So the heart and soul of this sound is pretty much the Placator Dirty Amp model. It's set to a fairly low gain level. I boosted treble and presence. And most importantly, I am using the HBE, FET and C45 mode. Or modes, I should say. Let me turn them off. And back on and you can just hear how the sound gains thickness. I should also mention that I like to push the bias on rhythm channels a little bit and turn the bias X a little bit down and what this does is basically just adding a little bit more aggression so it sounds like your guitar is more like in your face. In front of the placator amp I am using the Timmy distortion pedal. Let me turn it off. And back on. And again, as you can hear, it doesn't do much, but it just adds again a little bit of thickness to the sound. After the amp, we go into an equalizer. And you may wonder, why the hell is he using an equalizer before the cap? Well, there are two main reasons. One of the reasons is I use this equalizer to adjust the levels of all the snapshots. So let's say when I go from snapshot one to snapshot three, I want them to be around the same volume or have the lead sound a little bit louder. And this is what I use the level knob of the equalizer for. And the second reason is I like to push the highs even more. I like very bright sounds, as you can hear and see. So I'm boosting 2K and 6K on the Kelly Q graphic equalizer. I tried all of the equalizers and this is just what I liked. After that, we finally hit the cabinet, or cabinets, I should say, because I am using the black back and the green back at the same time. And then we have the very last effect, which is just a little bit of reverb on the rhythm channel to add a little decay and tail to each note. Let me turn it off. You won't hear much of a difference. Just, it just adds a little bit, yeah? So you can see there's um, some minor things coming together to create this sound. The second snapshot is pretty much the same sound as my rhythm sound. It has a tiny bit more gain and I added a little delay. I am not using the sound very often, but there are some occasions uh, like a little melody line in the rhythm guitar um, or just parts where you don't want a louder sound, which is going to be the lead sound. For the lead sound, I am using the same amp with the same gain setting. The treble and presence are still pushed, but not as high. And I turned down the bias and pushed the bias X. So basically did exactly the opposite of what I did with the rhythm channel. It makes the lead sound a little less aggressive, but more singing, which I like. And last but not least, uh, we pushed the gain on the Timmy distortion before the amp. And I also adjusted the level a little bit to make it this nice. To give it this nice singing lead sound. 
And as you can hear, uh, we have the delay engaged too. Um, for the lead sound, I did not boost any more highs with this Kelly Q graphic equalizer. This is pretty much it. We have the distortion, we have the amp, we have a cabinet, a delay and a reverb. <laughs> So this was my Helix preset. I hope you like the sounds. Make sure to download it and enjoy playing it.